What's a gadget cache? I call a gadget cache something when you get to the cache you've got to do something to access the log. This is West Virginia Tim. We're going to find one of my gadget caches today. You know some gadget caches are really hard. They're very difficult. You can spend an hour trying to figure out how to get into it and it makes a great cache. This cache is almost a park and grab. It's a gadget cache but it's very easy. But you know what makes a great cache? A great cache is a cache when you walk back to the car you're smiling and you're thinking that was fun. This is a fun cache. So we're going to find this fun cache and then I'm going to show you how to build it. So stick around. Okay, like any gadget cache, it's pretty easy to find. Now we got to figure out how to get into it. This cache right here says, actually has the name of the cache right here, Mystery Caches of Berkeley County. The cache name is ATM. And I can see where it got its name. This looks like a credit card and here's a slot. But down here, if you'll notice, it says donation amount. Be, be generous. $1, $5, and $10. And the cash page says give generously. So I bet you a nickel I'm going to need a credit card to open this cash. But now I wonder if I use a credit card, is it going to charge me? Because look up here. Here's an antenna. And this says cellular distribution. But then also look down here at the bottom. This has got a wire coming out of this cache. And this wire comes down and then goes into the ground. So it's really giving me a hint that my credit, I'm wondering, is my credit card going to be charged? But I tell you what, to find a great gadget cache like this, it'd be worth five, ten, or a dollar to me. So let me grab my credit card and let's see what we can do to find this cache. Okay, I've got my I've got my credit card, so um, I'm going to put my credit card in this slot and see if anything happens. So I'm going to put my credit card in this slot, but it says give generously, so I'm going to put my credit card in this slot, and then I'm going to go ahead and give generously. I'm going to push the $10 button because I know this cash owner. So I'm going to push the button, and then I'm going to put my card in. Nothing's happening. Oh. Okay, there it opened. And there's the geocache. Okay, cute cache, very cute cache. And now look inside. Now we can see inside, really, all it is is a gate latch. And there's really no electronics. These buttons don't even come through on the other side. So, what we've really done here is we've added a lot of really cute little touches just to make you think. Okay, is he really going to charge my credit card? And of course, we're not going to charge the credit card. But the cellular distribution, the electric wire, the, the little donations on, amounts are just little touches. And that's what makes a great cash. Okay, let's go back into my shop. And I'm going to show you in a little bit more detail how you can build this thing. Okay, let's take a look at how you build this thing. The guts of this cash is a Stanley uh, gate latch. We've used a gate latch on several of my other caches. Uh, you have to put several spacers to bring the gate latch out. Simply by putting the credit card in, it pulls this up, opens the latch. You're also going to need a spacer over here on the front because when you put your credit card in, you, you need it to be able to go in. To make it look realistic, you need to go in a little ways. So you'll need a spacer here. I actually used... Um, a frameless cabinet hinge. I happen to use two I have. I would shop around. I wouldn't use these exact same two because I think you can find uh, cabinet hinges that attach on the end here and actually do a better job of hiding the hinge. You can, of course, if you want to make it very simply, you can use just a regular pair of hinges, but as soon as you walk up to the cache, you're going to see the hinges and you know exactly what's going to do, what, what, the, what you've got to do in the cache. I actually try to use cabinet hinges because it hides the hinges. Here's the dimensions. Um, a lot of times people ask me for my dimensions. Of course, you can make it any way you want, but um, there's what I used. It's the little touches that make a cache. So here's what I've done. I put uh, two screws in the top, and um, I'm going to put a, I've drilled a hole here, and I've got one over here. But if you'll notice, my screw has been cut off. So these are just little teeny short screws. They actually are no thicker than this. But when the cacher walks up, 
and he looks at the front of the birdhouse, it's going to appear that uh, the front is attached. Okay, now all I've got left to do is put a really, a sand it well, put a good quality exterior primer on it, and then a coat of paint. And I'll show you what we, what it looks like here in a little bit. I had to brainstorm to add the buttons. Uh, you can buy them at Radio Shack, our electronic store, or buy them online. Doesn't make, make any difference what their function is. Um, I just looked for the least inexpensive buttons I could find. I found these three online. Uh, when I got them, um, I found a drill bit that's uh, just about the same size as the button. So I'll drill my third hole right here, and then I'll just tap my button into place, and um, they're very, very secure. Okay, it's not that hard to build. This is a great gadget cache. If you can build a birdhouse, you can build this geocache. And the little teeny touches, the cellular distribution, the amounts, they all add to the cache and make it a really fun cache. So won't you try to build this one? Copy this idea, take the concept, look at an ATM and take it and run with it. And take this concept and build your own cache. No need to give me credit. It's all about just improving our game. So let's keep raising the geocaching bar, one cache at a time. Until next time, thanks.